Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang. Welcome to another Festa 67 inbox review. And it is of Yeah, it's big. It is a Ravel Level 4, 124 scale, Man Schlingman, HLF 20, 4x4, fire engine. The kit number 07452. And it's massive. As you can see, Loads of lovely artwork on the box of finished fire engine. All the way around. Some bits and bobs on the paints and that that you can get. So yeah. It's a big old kit. So let's open her up. Now you do get some destructions and if you notice I've already made a little start to that bit but not the worry now you get your instructions usual Ravel uh, super sexy booklet that I've got in my ring binder just here because I'm about to build it <coughs> excuse my coughing so I keep sort of my instructions in a ring binder. Every single build I do. So you get your Ravel instructions, as you can see. With all your paint call-outs, sprue diagrams, what bits you use, what bits you don't. Nice colour instructions that go through all the kit. And then I've been in and made annotations like create hinges for the cab, uh, modify the dash because I want to change it from a left hand drive dash to a right hand drive dash. Loads of different diagrams of the build as you can see. Again more annotations of where I'm going to add light in and then obviously your uh, yeah, finished artwork. So that's some of that on there. So I'll just shove that out of the way a minute. So yeah, everything comes up nice and bagged. All your clear parts, floors, doors, shutters, and that. And these I'm going to slice into individual slats so that they will roll up and roll down and there's all your bits with your compartments floors box sections for all the tools and other equipment that come with this kit your wheels, engine components <coughs> and it is quietly quite quietly quite a nice detailed kit to be honest with you i've had a quick gander through some of it and uh yeah from what i've seen you know, i'm pretty impressed with it you know you've got your nice engine detail there again you can paint it up once you've painted it you can then look at additional things you want to do like you know fuel lines and things like that you know your chassis comes as one section already joined so that saves a lot of trouble because i don't know about you guys but how many times have you built a chassis and it's been a little bit skew with i've got a jig that i made that i put this sort of thing on and uh, yeah it saves a lot of heartbreak to be quite honest with you and i should be doing a a build series on that jig because it does bikes planes cars so yeah so you got your sides of the fire engine there and that so again this has got legs and everything that it sits on so 
for me, I'm a, I'm a builder that likes to explore the possibilities of a kit. Now, nothing wrong with building out the box. A lot of my friends and, and ex-associates love building out the box. That's what they do, and they do it well. Uh, me, personally, I like to challenge myself and just do something slightly different. And for those of you that are a bit like me, that just want to give it something different, then this is going to be the build series for you. More cabinets, etc. And I'm going to do a few of these so that the doors open. So again, if you don't know how to open a door, I'm going to show you. Because I've already had a look at the cab. And you'll notice, now in the box, when you buy this, the doors are all fixed in position. And I've gone round and cut all my doors out. And they're all neatly wrapped up in here. Um, <clears throat> there's an example of one. Now, when you buy the kit, that's how it comes, all fixed in place. And then I gently just scribe along here little bit by little bit all the way around the panel line until you see a white line form inside now you can cheat and just give it a little bit of a contrast spray and then as you see that white line form it lets you know that you're nearly through and just keep going gently gently and then your door just drops out and then you make yourself a hinge that will go on the inside of the door and your door are open. So I'll show you how to make the hinges and all of that lot in the build series. So that, my friends, is the Ravel fire engine kit. Now, it's getting lit. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the proper double pulsating light array for the lighting bar on the roof. Again, if any of you haven't done LED work, I'll go through it uh, with you, um, showing you how I, I do it. There are loads of videos online out there on how to do LED circuits, so I won't make it a beginner's series. There's enough people doing that already. Um, so, you know, I don't want to be accused of plagiarism because that's not what I'm about. Although I've been a victim of it myself. That's another story. Um, so, yeah, feel free to tune in and enjoy this build along with me. I look forward to seeing you. Any of you got any questions about this build and, and you want to follow the series or you want me to teach you how to cut the doors open and, and things like that then back me an email to festa67 workshop at gmail.com get in touch with me chuck a subscription on me channel if you haven't already and pop along say hi who you are what you're about and you know if you've got the kit what you're looking at doing with it Get, you know, get to know me and, and, you know, we can do it as a buddy build. Follow me along episode by episode. <coughs> and, you know, I don't care how many times you ask me the same question. Just ask me it and I'll do my best to help you. So I'm rambling on. Ravel, level 4, 124th scale. Schlingman HLF 20 Walrus 4x4 fire engine. 295 of Ravel's finest parts. Kit number 07452, I've already said, but have a look on Scalmates. I'm on there as well under Festa 67. So chuck me a mate request on some Scalmates and I'll add you to me, me list. Pop along to me Facebook, join me Facebook group. Uh, for those that want to support me on Patreon, feel free. The channel's due to be launched in early 2019. Nothing is going to be behind walled content. It's all going to be free. Um, but it's just one of them, you know, I don't work now. I'm medically retired out of the violins. <coughs> and, you know, I've got no income to support the hobby. So if any of you feel like 
contribute and even if it's just to buy me some tea bags and a cake to eat whilst I'm at the bench feeding the feed, uh, feed, I don't know, filming these even could even get me a set of teeth to hold these false ones in anyway thanks for watching see you in the next uh, inbox review and thank you for tuning in bye bye for now